Hi, this is Patrick. In this video, I would like to show you how to create a new user in your Azure subscription and how to promote the user to a contributor. Therefore, let's first create a new user. For that, I will check here Azure Active Directory, Users. And as you can see, I've already, already created uh, some specific user, workshop user one, workshop, workshop user two. And let's assume I would like to create a third one, workshop user three. For that, I check new user, create new user. And I would like to name him, or to provide the name workshop user pinners 3 Display name should be workshop user 3 That's it. Let's auto generate the password, but I will copy the password to my clipboard and I'm going to remember that. So I save it somewhere. And now finally, I check review and create. Again, create. And Azure tells me that the user was successfully created. Let's verify that by refreshing it. And as you can see, we have now a third user, which is named workshop user 03. But that's not sufficient. I also would like to promote this user uh, to a contributor. How to do that? I will open a new tab. And I will click on my subscription, which I've named Asia Workshop. And here at Asia Workshop, on the very left, there exists the access control. There I switch to the second tab, role assignment. And let's uh, imagine I would like to give the workshop user free read permission. For that, I would click on add, add role assignment. I would choose reader, click on next. I would like to select the members and a pick the workshop user 03. Select it, review and assign on the very left. Again. And now workshop user 03 is also part of the readers. But I would like that workshop user 03 is able to, for instance, create and manage resources for a specific scope. Let's assume a specific resource group. So how to do that? So um, I wanted to do it in the very same way. So add and add role assignment. But unfortunately, there is no contributor, no dedicated contributor listed anymore. But it's not that bad. Let's do it with the Asia CLI. For that, here on, on the top, there exists this Cloud Shell. Just click on that. And as you can see, we now get a PowerShell terminal. Let's clear that. Uh, let's assume that the workshop user O3 should have um, the full access to manage the resources for a specific uh, resource group. For that, I would like to create a uh, demo resource group. It's already uh, for 
divided here. So I type Asia group create minus minus location. I would like to have the location West Europe and I will name the resource group my demo resource group. Confirm that and the resource group is created. Please copy that and save it somewhere. So there's subscription including resource group and the name of your resource group. Now we need to promote the workshop user for free to a contributor. For that, let's use a specific command. It's new asset role assignment design in name would be workshop user free. Maybe let's copy it, it's much faster. So workshop user all free at a lot of whole stuff for my Azure subscription dot com. And let's continue with, I would like to promote it to a contributor, therefore minus role definition name. It should be a contributor. Right. And it should be restricted to a specific scope and that would be the resource group which I've created before. Copy again. The whole bunch with subscriptions. The idea of my subscription resource group and my demo minus RG for resource group. And if you would like, you can also write a description. Providing access to resource group. And that's it. Confirm that. And now the workshop user O3 is promoted to a contributor. So when you now log in using that name and the auto-generated password in the Azure portal, this uh, workshop user uh, O3 is capable of, for instance, uh, creating a specific resource for the resource group, my demo resource group. That's how to, uh, yeah, how to promote a user to a contributor. I hope you enjoyed that and see you next time.